Hello again, welcome to another look at the weekend's weather, a little bit more detail into next week as well. As usual, it's courtesy of netweather.tv. Well, we've had a little bit of a change in the last few days, a little bit of a taste of autumn at long last, but it's not going to last, not that people necessarily want it to be chilly, because uh, of course that means you have to put the central heating on, which I've just done for the first time, but with a bit of luck in a day or so's time I can put it off again, because it is going to get uh, quite a bit warmer as the winds swing into the south. Now looking at the surface level pressure, we have low pressure at the moment near Iceland at a high to the south of us and squeezed in between we're now getting southwesterly winds with some occasional fronts moving across from time to time and now that the winds are in the southwest as against the northwest it's already beginning to feel somewhat milder. Now the area of high pressure will slip away eastwards, we will have a little bit of a low crossing to the north of Scotland, we'll also have a new area of low pressure forming to the southwest of us so all in all, the winds become more southerly and therefore, if anything, the temperatures continue to increase a little. Now, the low to the southwest of us looks as if it's going to deepen and move northwards towards Ireland and the winds are going to come, become pretty strong as a result. And then that deep low becomes stationary near Ireland and it's going to be around for quite a long time, but eventually it will slowly fill and lose its influence. All the while, high pressure persisting to the east which means to say the winds will be pulled in from the south or the southeast. Now, if we have a look at the temperature of the atmosphere, you can see what I mean. It is warm air. There's a yellowy colour there. It's uh, pumping up across the United Kingdom from southernmost areas, from sort of France and into the Mediterranean. And as that new low develops and moves in towards uh, Ireland, it's eventually going to pull in some somewhat cooler, cooler air around its circulation. You can see this happening as it swings around to the south of the area of low pressure and then that cooler air moves up across the United Kingdom. It's only somewhat cooler. Temperatures will be around average or if anything just above for much of the time. If we zoom in now and look at the European scene in closer quarters, a mixture of pressure and precipitation, that's the blue shading areas, and you can see how that area of low pressure forms and bands of rain cross the United Kingdom from time to time in the next uh, few days and into uh, well into next week. At least as far as the weekend is concerned, the rain stays away from southeastern parts of the country, where the weather shouldn't be too bad, with some sunny spells. You'll also no notice too how the isobars around that area of low pressure become really tight, especially to the south of the low, which peaks on around Tuesday time. So if there's anybody out in a small boat or something like that uh, near to that area of low pressure, they're going to have a pretty nasty time. There will be gales and severe gales. Anyhow, let's have a look at the day-to-day -day forecast now. We start with Friday, when there'll be some rain around in Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales and the north of England to begin with. It's going to be quite windy too. But I think most of the Midlands, East Anglia and Southern England will be dry and uh, there'll be some sunny intervals developing perhaps after a rather cloudy start. A uh, cloud might stick in the southwest of England, especially coasts and hills, maybe with a little bit of drizzle. Now the rain in the north and west will become lighter and more patchy as the day wears on, but that new little area of low pressure as it develops will pep up the rain across northern parts of Scotland late in the day, pep up the winds as well. Temperatures are generally speaking close to normal, might be something of a chilly start in the southeast of England uh, early on. And then on Saturday it looks as if it's going to be windy with further rain moving southeastwards across uh, many western and northern areas although behind that rain it will become brighter and drier across much of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Central and eastern parts of the country should be dry and there'll be some broken cloud and some sunny spells and it'll be quite warm as a result. Now taking place on Saturday is the Beachy Head Marathon, that's in East Sussex. It's certainly going to be dry and bright, if anything I think perhaps it'll be a little bit too warm for the, the runners because temperatures could well get into the sort of uh, 16, 17, even 18 mark. So it's a bit on the warm side, although of course lovely weather for the spectators and anybody taking a leisurely walk over the South Downs. On Sunday there'll be a bright start across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but heavy rain and gales are likely to come in later on in the day. Over Northern England a little bit of rain around to begin with, but it should become brighter and drier during the day. And over Wales and the southwest of England, rather the opposite, a little bit of rain around to begin with, but this will become heavier late in the day and it'll be pretty windy too. The areas to escape the rain and the cloud and the wind is probably the southeastern corner of England, where again it should be another fine and warm day. 
which means it'll be ideal for the Trafalgar Day Parade taking place, naturally enough, and in Trafalgar Square, central London. On Monday, there'll be heavy rain across Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest of England, and this rain will move slowly eastwards during the day into central parts of England and southern areas of Scotland. The extreme east of England and the north of Scotland, though, should stay dry, and it will be fairly bright too. Everywhere, there's going to be a windy day, but it, despite the wind and the cloud, if anything, it will be on the warm side, and certainly no frost around over the weekend or into next week. Tuesday, that rain will continue to push northwards into Scotland and northern England, with brighter, showery weather following along behind. That's into Northern Ireland, southern and central parts of England. Everywhere, though, a windy day, but at least temperatures stay near normal. For the middle and latter part of the week, it looks as if it's going to remain pretty unsettled. That means to say uh, quite windy. Mild, though, if, uh, if nothing else, but uh, there will be outbreaks of rain, showers or longer outbreaks of rain. The best spot to get some drier and brighter spells, brighter intervals, is in the east, especially the southeast. Well, that's all from me the time for the time being. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I hope you can join me again this time next week. Goodbye for now.